Hi everybody, how's it going? In today's video, we'll take a look at a bonus series uh, featuring four Japanese cars from the last decade of the 20th century called 90s Japanese Icons. All right, so you'll find it in Road Collection uh, Season 2 subheading. And it's the first bonus series as I'm making this video right now. As you can see here, it features uh, four Japanese cars. We got Honda Civic Type R, Honda Integra Type R, Mitsubishi Motors Lancer Evolution VI, and Subaru Impreza 22B STI version. So, of course, the Mitsubishi and Subaru being the latest addition to the game. And those two, really, this series uh, is meant for those two new cars in the game. As those are the ones that can meet the PR requirement. So let's check in to the series, see what we got going here. 90s Japanese icons. Experience a specially curated selection of incredible performance cars from the land of the rising sun. All right. So, um, first of all, the series is 20 tiers long. And because it features four cars, there are four uh, time trials, one for each car. And um, uh, there are four showcase tiers, which features two events per car. Right. So um, let's see. In terms of, so that means uh, total events wise, there are 48 events. So that's four time trials and 44 trophy events. So um, in terms of, you know, your 25% increment goes for the rewards, uh, there's total of 52 gold and 52,000 52, racing dollars up for grabs in this series. So first 25% completion, which means you have to complete 12 events. So if you own all four cars, the easiest way to do it would be 11 gold trophies and one first time trial, right? Get the 12 done right away. Uh, and that will win you some six gold and 6,000 racing dollars that you can see here. And uh, that will require PR 9.4. And 50% uh, completion requires, of course, out of 48 events, Halfway there is 24. So most likely, once again, if you assuming that you own all cars, uh, 22 gold trophies and two time trials, since uh, you will be reaching that point somewhere around tier 10. And that means PR 14.8 is most likely what you have to meet. Uh, in order to claim the 50% completion reward of 10 gold and 10,000 racing dollars and 75% completion, you'll reach that uh, most likely in tier 16. Um, once again, assuming you own all the cars, um, so you can actually do the, you know, these time trials and uh, more importantly, the showcase tiers. So, you know, yeah, you're able to get more completion done with less PR requirements since uh, showcase tiers don't have time, uh, PR requirement. Anyway, so 75% completion requires completion of 36 events. So if you just take this route, it'll be 32 trophies, 32 gold trophies, and four time trials complete. And that would require PR 18.2. And rewards include 14 additional gold and 14,000 racing dollars. And of course, 100% completion. Well, that's pretty straightforward. You need to complete all 44 gold trophies and all four time trials. And that will require PR 22.3 as the final state or final tier cup. That is the sort of the entry PR for that cup race. And the rewards yes, we'll pay out remaining 22 gold and 22,000 racing dollars. So, um, so those are the um, rewards that you can expect in this series. Now, let's kind of take a look in the cars featured in this series. So, we'll start from the lowest PR one, which is Honda Civic Type R. Uh, base PR 
when it is maxed out mine is obviously not maxed out um, but if you do go ahead and max it out you can bring it up to pr 18.2 uh, so that is a range of you know boost up some 13.5 pr points um, service time is three hours for the cost of some 832 racing dollars so that's you know pretty cheap speaking of cheap the car itself is if you don't own it uh it is worth 80 gold and since it is featured in this series with a showcase tier um there is showcase discount 20 percent off brings the cost down to 64 gold if you take advantage of that and the car is featured in um three bonus series with the inclusion of this new one the 90s japanese icons uh it is also featured in uh, it has its own exclusive series upon 100% or fully upgrading the car. But anyways, uh, in terms of the, the non-exclusive, just the bonus series the car's featured in, as I said, this one, uh, Hot Hatch Power Match 3, which you can find in Season 1 section of the Road Collection. Uh, it's also featured there. And uh, VTech for Victory, which is a bonus series featured in the Pro-Am section of the game. Uh, that was the original bonus series this car was introduced into, um, even though it cannot actually 100% complete that series itself. So, they, I mean, yeah, there is no series. This car is the sort of the ultimate car other than its own exclusive series, which obviously you have to max out the card in order to have access to that exclusive series. Um, anyway, my car is, uh, has 21 out of 28 available upgrades on board with a PR 14.8. And anytime you see that upgrade scheme, you know, that's what was required to win this car through limited time series back in the day. I'll have the link to my, uh, uh, limited time series playthrough of each of these cars actually featured in this series in the description box below. So if you're curious about it, you, uh, feel free to check them out. Anyway, um, so uh, let's check into the, if you don't own this car, uh, base PR obviously is 4.7. Uh, before you, if you get only racing dollar upgrades, basically it's the stage one upgrades across the board uh, that'll cost you some Oh, I don't know, 30,800 racing dollars. So, you know, that's pretty affordable. And uh, it'll bring your PR up to 8.1. Right. And then, obviously, I have three upgrades across the board uh, with a PR 14.8. If you decide to go max it out, it will cost you some 132 gold and... Uh, 127,100 racing dollars and the uh, upgrade time uh, will equal to be something like five hours and ten minutes and uh, yeah um, I'm hoping at some point I know it's not that expensive but I'm hoping at some point they will uh, introduce or add um, give us a discount upgrade uh, upgrade discount on this car uh, because otherwise, I'm okay with the current PR for this car. You know, no, I do not have access to the exclusive series because it's not fully upgraded. But I got plenty other cars that I have yet to go through. So, not in a rush. Alright. Next car in line. Honda Integra Type R. This one, however, is fully upgraded. Featuring PR 21.1, as you can see here. And, uh, yeah, this car was um, introduced at the same time. Same version as the Civic Type R in the game. Uh, a couple of years ago. I want to say 2019, so three years ago. And uh, this car, base PR, starts at 4.9. So just a little bit higher than the Civic. But uh, when it's fully maxed out... Uh, you do get a bit more boost in PR, as you can see, 21.1. That is a total of 16.2 PR point boost. In terms of service time, it is another three-hour up, 
uh, service time and the service cost is once again 832 racing dollars so that's same as the Civic and this car is featured in only two uh, bonus series there is no exclusive series featuring this car even though you know I have fully upgraded this car I know only reason why it's fully upgraded is because we've had a uh, upgrade discount offer <laughs> on this car not that it's terribly expensive but still you know every gold that I can save is gold earned my friends Anyway, the cost of the car itself, 120 gold if you don't own it uh, already. And uh, with the showcase discount, you can get it for 96 gold. And uh, the two bonus series this car is featured in, obviously this one, 90s Japanese icons, which this car unfortunately cannot meet the 100% completion requirements, just a little bit shy of that. Uh, but the main one, VTEC for Victory, that I mentioned in Pro M section from the Civic. Um, this is the car between the Civic and Integra. Integra is the only one that can 100% complete that uh, bonus series. Uh, that uh, requires PR 19.3. So, you know, uh, I'll have separate video covering that series. But we'll, so we'll stay on topic for this one. So, uh, upgrade-wise, um, stage one upgrades, basically across the board, seven upgrades, you know, are the ones that are available for racing dollar upgrades before you spend any gold, costing exact same amount as the Civic, that is 30,800 racing dollars, and uh, it brings your PR up to 9.0, right? And uh, to fully upgrade this car normally it'll cost you 179 gold and 127 excuse me uh, 127,100 racing dollars so racing dollar wise it's the same as civic but gold yeah they they are a little bit pricier although i mean 179 gold isn't too bad right anyway uh also as i mentioned have the my playthrough of the limited time series we've had for to win this car back in the day um in, in 2019 i believe so check the description box below for that if you're curious about that and then we got the two new cars left in here in the roster uh, we got of course mitsubishi motors lancer evolution vi or evolution 6 um so I just covered this car in the limited series run, but uh, I'll, you know, kind of recap here since we're talking about this bonus series. Base PR 5.3 maxes out at 22.9. So that is a boost of 17.6 PR points. And uh, sort of like Civic, this car has 21 upgrades on board, three upgrades across the board because that's what uh, was required to complete the limited series to win this car which um the play through uh videos you can find it in the description box below yes i'll have the link uh and the uh, service time it's three hours uh 1415 or 14 yeah 1415 racing dollars so cost is a little bit higher than the hondas but uh, you know we're talking racing dollars there drop in a bucket and uh, currently, uh, this is the only bonus series the car is featured in. And if you want to use this car to 100% complete this series uh, to bring your PR up to 22.3, basically you have to get the car almost maxed out. Um, so only upgrade you don't need is going to be that last engine upgrade, the stage 6 engine upgrade, which... Uh, is the gold upgrade. Um, I want to say it costs 150 gold. So, yeah, but I, you know, I don't really see the good reason to fully upgrade Mitsubishi when I already have my Subaru fully upgraded thanks to the upgrade discount offer that we've had um, maybe a couple of weeks ago. 
<laughs> so yes, you know, I got to run this limited series with the car fully maxed out by the end. Um, so very fairly comparable to uh, Lancer, but just a little bit higher PR. So base PR is 5.4 for Subaru here and maxes out as you can see at 23.1. Service out, uh, service time is three hours. That's the same as all the other cars featured in this series. And the service cost is same as Mitsubishi. That is 1415 racing dollars. And um, yeah, it's a fairly new car, just like the Lancer. It's feature this is the only bonus series this car is featured in. Um, and the upgrade wise with the stage one upgrades only is what you get with before you spend any gold on this car. I'll cost you some 154,100 racing dollars and it'll bring your P up to 9.9. .9. And uh, if you want to you know, use this car and to 100% complete this, this bonus series, upgrade tree is the same as Mitsubishi. So if you don't, if your car is not fully maxed out, then, um, in order to meet the PR requirement of 22.3 that is required for this, um, you need to get every upgrade except for the final uh, stage engine upgrade, which, as I said, will cost you additional 150 gold there. But uh, yeah, if you're starting from zero upgrade to get up to the getting everything but the last upgrade will cost you some 394 gold and 760,500 racing dollars um and uh to fully max out this car or this one or the lancer it'll cost you the same amount that is uh 544 gold and 760,500 racing dollars and uh but as i said you know you get a slightly higher pr with the uh, impreza versus uh lancer so there's that all right, so that is enough. Um, actually, we compare the cars. It's not really a fair comparison, is it now? Because some cars are fully maxed out, some aren't. <laughs> you know, like Civic, for example, I don't have it fully upgraded. You know, so the lowest PR, obviously, performance is going to be um, the least, you know, we expect least out of Civic as it is and it's not even fully upgraded so you know that yeah um but the hatchbacks you know hatchbacks usually have a pretty good grip um so this car is no exception to that 1.07 g for the grip um not the fastest right you know 267 kph for top speed and 6.01 seconds for acceleration um compared to say Integra these two cars would be comparable right so Integra is of course fully maxed out um, significantly better grip 1.15 G um, decent improvement on the braking distance but once again this is not very fair comparison you know um, and the acceleration is better on Integra but once again it's fully maxed out top speed is better um, and uh, yeah, if you compare between Integra maxed out versus Lancer uh, at 21 upgrades across, um, three upgrades across board, 21 upgrades total, uh, you can see as the PR is uh, reflecting, um, Integra does uh, fare relatively well. Only place where it uh, falls behind is the acceleration, isn't it? 4.51 seconds. That is a big gap between um, 5.59 seconds for Integra acceleration versus uh, Lancer, right? But the braking distance is better on Integra. Grip is significantly, well, not significantly, I say 0.02 G better than Lancer. And the top speed, of course, being a good 10 kph, 11 kph higher than Lancer. Anyway, and then of course the the beast in this series, the uh, the ultimate, the best car in this featured in this series is of course Subaru, 
with the highest PR, at least if you go by the PR. Um, best at the um, acceleration. Top speed, though. If you look at it, Integra still comes out higher than Impreza. I mean, 5 kph at the top, I don't know how much difference it'll really make. Uh, but the uh, braking distance, yeah, Integra still comes out ahead. Uh, and the uh, acceleration, though, is where the Impreza, the Subaru, is gonna just kick Integra's butt any day, right? And the grip is 1.16G, so that is the highest grip in this group, um, at least with the, you know, the upgrade status I have in my garage. So, yeah. So those are the, uh, sort of a, not a very good uh, comparison of the four cars featured in this series, but nevertheless, um, I'm assuming some of you guys probably have uh, same upgrades as I do. If you only upgrade your car uh, in order to either win it or once you win it, you only upgrade when they offer additional discount offer, which is my strategy here. Um, but yes, uh, you know, make your gold a little bit further in the game, right? All right, so let's, uh, so those, that's, uh, that'll conclude the talks on the cards. Now let's talk about the series itself. So as I said, it's 20 tier series. So we'll start with a tier one. We got Hunter at, Hockenheim National, it's a night race, so it's a short lap. Um, then we got head to head, and Circuit of the Americas Club Circuit, should be a single lapper. There we go. And the Tier 1 Cup takes place at Suzuka East. Uh, quick two laps, Tier 1 never. We don't have PR requirement there. And let's continue on to Tier 2. Let's use gold and unlock it. We got a drag race, this one taking place at Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. Um, and then we got Speed Snap at Catalunya Club Circuit. So those both are uh, drag race and Speed Snap, pretty short event. Followed by the Cup at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. PR 6.6 .6 required. So all, all four cars, you need some upgrades on board to meet that PR requirement, of course. Not necessarily gold upgrades, but, you know, some upgrades. Anyway, it's going to be a two-lap cup. So Red Bull Ring, fairly short circuit. Uh, national circuit, even shorter, right? And that takes us to the first uh, showcase tier featuring Honda Civic EK9 Type R. We've got a little bit more specific uh, model number or model name for Civic here. And for the showcase, we got autocross at Porsche Test Track Dynamic Circuit and a cup at Melbourne. It's going to be a two-lap cup. And that next, we got, of course, the time trial featuring Civic uh, taking place at New York Circuit. The, it's the new version, 2019 uh, layout. So, yes. All right, and that takes us to the next tier, tier five. We got head-to-head -head at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. Once again, German circuit with a night race. Should be a single lapper, and it is. Followed by Elimination at Laguna Seca under the uh, California sun. Uh, and then Cup at Dubai International Circuit, PR 9.4 required. And that's going to be a two-lap cup. All right. And uh, yeah, so with a PR 9.4 now, if you are using um, one of the older, basically if you're using Hondas, yeah, you need, you need gold upgrades. The other two, uh, not so much. Just racing dollars should suffice. And next tier, tier 6, we got speed record at Daytona Motorcycle Course. So that's a, uh, that's a lap. And then we got speed snap at the Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. And uh, cup for tier 6. 
taking place at Leipzig, uh, Porsche Test Track Dynamic Circuit. It's gonna be a two lap cup. Yeah, Dynamic Circuit Cup, especially with a short lap count, can be a little tricky because it's very narrow, uh, not a whole lot of room for um, overtaking, right? And we always start at the end of the grid um, because there's no qualifying, right? Anyway, PR 10.4 is what's required. So um, now at this point, every car needs some gold upgrades. All right, and that gets us to the next uh, showcase tier, Honda Integra DC2 Type R showcase. And for that, we got autocross at Mount Panorama and a cup at Brands Hatch in the circuit. It's gonna be a four lap cup. All right, and then the accompanying time trial is gonna be at appropriately Honda Circuit Suzuka Grand Prix. All right, continuing on, tier nine, we got Endurance at Monza Junior Course, Hunter at Dubai Club Circuit, so that's a quick lap, and the cup for tier nine is gonna be at the Brickyard, Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course, it's going to be a two-lap cup uh, with a PR requirement 10.4. Continuing on to tier 10, we got Speed Snap at Catalunya Grand Prix. Head-to-head -head at Daytona Road Course. A single lapper, most likely a rolling start also. And then uh, we got another cup here in Japan. This one, Suzuka West. Uh, open to all cars. PR 14.8 required. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a three lap cup. So that takes us to the next showcase featuring Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution VI. And this one, uh, we got a speed record at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. So that's a lap and a cup at Mount Panorama. It's gonna be a two lap cup. And the accompanying time trial for Lancer will take place in Germany, Hockenheim Grand Prix, not at night time, which I do appreciate. All right, moving on to tier 13. We start off with a drag race, so not a whole lot of drag races in this event. Uh, there are only two so far, at least that's what I remember. Right, uh, this one taking place at Dubai Grand Prix. And followed by elimination at Silverstone Bridge Grand Prix Circuit. And the cup to get through tier 13 is gonna be at Catalunya Club Circuit. And that's gonna be a high lap count, short circuit. Uh, yeah, seven laps with a PR 14.8 required. So, um, yeah, so far, all cars featured in this event in this series should be able to compete you know with uh, enough upgrades on board in fact tier 14 i believe might be the last tier that you can do um with a pr 18.2 that is the max pr for civic anyway uh we got autocross at circuit of the americas club circuit endurance at melbourne and the cup at nurburgring grand prix back to the night race on this one PR 18.2 required for this three lap cup. And that takes us to the final showcase uh, featuring Subaru, of course, in this case. We got head to head at Hockenheim Grand Prix on night race. They love night race in Germany in this game. Anyway, just a quick single lapper cup, or not cup, uh, head to head. And the actual cup is going to take place. At take place at Dubai National. It's going to be a full lap cup. And time trial for Impreza is going to take place at Spa. All right. All right, and that takes us to sort of the final bit, the final four tiers of the series. Tier 17, we got Speed Snap at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit, Autocross at Catalonia Club Circuit, and the cup, another one featuring the same PR point, 
that the uh, max PR of the Civic. Uh, this one as Silverstone International Circuit. It's gonna be a four lap cup. All right, tier 18. Now we're dropping off Civic here since uh, you know I mean obviously you can use that for endurance and elimination here since those events obviously don't require any PR. Although I'd expect it's gonna be a bit more challenging with lesser cars. So endurance at Bathurst Circuit, Mount Panorama, and elimination at Nurburgring, Muhlenbach Life. It's gonna be a morning race. And uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, morning races in Germany are pretty dark also. Yeah, just in general, European morning apparently a little bit darker. <laughs> anyway, in the cup, uh, it's gonna take place at Leipzig, Porsche Test Track, short on-road circuit, PR 20.1 required for this seven lap cup. And uh, yeah, um, Integra can still do it, uh, but Civic won't be able to. And Lancer should be able to upon having enough upgrades, but my garage, I just don't have it, but that's okay. I got others that can do the job. And that takes us to the penultimate tier, tier 19. We got a head-to-head -head as Circuit of the Americas National Circuit. Just a single lapper. Hunter at Dubai National, so that's obviously a single lap. And the cup uh, for tier 19 is going to be at Spa PR 21.1 required, which is the maxed out PR for the, the other Honda, the Integra Type R. So, yeah, and it's gonna be a two lap cup. In my garage, I got two cars that can unlock this race, so that's good to know. And then that takes us to the final tier, tier 20, where we find Endurance at Brands Hatch, Speed Snap at Red Bull Ring, and the cup at Suzuka Grand Prix, which requires PR 22.3 which only the two new cars can meet. So, yeah, obviously I have my Subaru fully upgraded, so I don't need uh, Lancer to meet that PR requirement with more gold spent, you know what I mean? But anyway, so just to recap the numbers here, 400% completion, the 22.3, you can get there by getting basically all the upgrades except for the final engine upgrade which costs 150 gold uh, for either Lancer or Impreza should be fine cost exactly the same five uh, 394 gold um, so that will do it for this uh, series overview so thanks for watching hopefully you guys found some useful information for figuring out your strategy for completing the series if you are even interested in you know purchasing or winning a car to take part in it so all right uh thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one take care